Hey everyone, here at Mavam with Mike, the founder and creator of this just these machines are absolutely amazing. And we're at Specialty Coffee Expo, and I want to show you all a pre preview of everything uh, just before this place gets swarmed with people because <laughs> we get the exclusive view on, on some of just there, there's some really cool stuff that we're going to show you. So I'm just going to have Mike take it away. Yeah, so us. excuse the mess. We're obviously <laughs> dialing everything still. We just finally got power. But yeah, it's our Mach 2 machine. It's a three group. Uh, so we, we have five machines, um, um, countertop, under counter, under counter, and cupping gun. So this is the Mach 2. It's a three group machine. We have one, two, and three. Um, mainly designed for the commercial market. So, you know, everything on this machine is about throughput and, and workflow. So the activators, so this is pre-infusion and then full pressure and then perch. <laughs> and then, uh, Wow, that, feel, that feels really good to use. Yeah, so we call it the piano key activation. Um, steam activation's on the left here. This button's feel great. Oh. And then the seal-free design, so we're all about, you know, we're in commercial environments, so mm. grew up as a technician, so everything is seal-free, so no, no maintenance on the steam wands or steam valves, mm -hmm. and with silicone gaskets, so really, you know, trying to make it as, as economical for the end user and baristas and, and uh, shop owners. Um, it's a super low profile, it's only 13 inches tall, so it keeps that nice workflow and, and customer engagement that we look for with uh, um, all of our product lines. And then we have a new algorithm called BEST, Let's see if it's on any of these, it's not, but in programming, press and hold, and then press again, we get to our program. And then in here we have a new algorithm that we're releasing, it's in all machines moving forward right now, but it's, uh, it's called BEST, and what BEST is, it's an algorithm for pre-infusion. So, in the commercial setting especially, a lot of our machines have one pump per group, and we really focus on pre-infusion. Uh -huh. But when we find in the commercial environment, a lot of people aren't using it because it takes time away from throughput. Right. And so if you're sitting here for 15 seconds waiting for your pre-infusion to be done, you're, you could be multitasking. So to alleviate that, we have BEST. Mm -hmm. So what BEST does is that once the, once the um, coffee's in, um, it basically we have new flow meters that can actually measure the, sorry, I'm holding some rags, <laughs> that can actually measure uh, the pulses at a low flow rate yeah. that we never were able to have before. So now we can actually see what's happening in pre-infusion. Mm -hmm. So obviously when the pulse, when the machine first coffee comes on, uh, water comes on the coffee bed, it, it's going shooting up very fast. Yeah. And as the puck starts getting saturated, it slows down. And when the puck's fully saturated, it actually absorbs all the coffee, right. the water it can, and it almost comes to a stop. Mm -hmm. And so we're, we have an algorithm that basically detects when it's coming to that point before it stops, and then it kicks off. And it, it makes amazing coffee, and we uh -huh. have we have excellent yields out because we don't have the inconsistencies of free infusion. Yeah, that can cause right. So, this is best. Uh, we don't have any coffee right now because we're still working our grinder out and <laughs> <laughs> some shipping. Yeah, well, we're just trying to show anyways, off cool stuff so right now. So that's the Mach Two. All right. Um, just going down the line. This is the undercounter. So yeah. this is our machine we came to market with. Um, this has been out for seven. This is our seven-year anniversary actually. Mm -hmm. So every SEA. So yeah, so this is the guy who got us going. Yeah, um, I've, I've seen this. So some of you have might have seen this in your shops or like you go to your local coffee shop, you may have seen something like this. And it is, it's just a beautiful machine. Like yeah. that. It's all about temperature stability on this. Mm -hmm. So when we first came to market, we have a patent on the transfer system. It's the same hose we use in our cupping gun uh -huh. and so on and so forth. But that's kind of where our system is. It, we're all about temperature stability as we believe that makes the best coffee. Mm -hmm. We kind of evolved to come up with best and, uh -huh. and all the other pieces of the puzzle, right? A one, two and three group. So one group, Obviously, two group uh -huh. has a pitcher rinser in the center, and then the three group's four feet wide, and it has two pitcher rinsers on either uh -huh. side. So for throughput, the best, if you're a busy cafe and you want two baristas on bar, you can have two, two people yeah. easily working. What two group, you're, you know, you still slam it out, but bump your shoulders. All right. All right. Yeah, and this is our newest machine. This is the MM, so mm. it's an uh, under-counter super automatic espresso machine. So basically, this Spike. machine, does everything out of push to the button, automation style. But we really want to focus this machine on coffee quality. So every, yeah. every, every piece of this machine is designed to, to for the best coffee extractions we can on the, on the automation level. Yeah, you know? I mean, look at that. It's my, my phone right here. This thing, look at that. Wow. Super low profile. That's and so and cool. you know, we have these in, in a couple of bars around Seattle, and, uh -huh. and they're, good, they're good. So um, I'll take you through it. But yeah. Make no, no, some no. coffee on yeah, it too? of course. So, I mean, I don't know if you're familiar with super automatics, but they can be very complex pieces of mm -hmm. equipment. And I, my background is as a service technician. Uh, my father was actually one of the first people to import uh, Swiss super automatics to America. Mm -hmm. So at the age of 18, I started working on these machines. And um, yeah, and I kind of 
got to see the inner workings of them at, uh -huh. at a super high level and visit Switzerland lots of times mm -hmm. and got to work in engineers and fell in love. So yeah. I've been working on these machines for my life pretty much, you know, so. Um, so everything about super automatic that is wrong, not wrong, but is complexity. A lot of them yeah. are very, very complex. And when you get into the commercial stage, especially specialty, no one's going to be paying those high price bills. So yeah. it has to be a machine that's easy to work on and not very complicated. Yeah, so, you know? I mean, it's got like three buttons here. Do you want yep. to walk us through what of each of these do? Yes, sir. And then let's, yeah, might as so well make, a, make some coffee. Grinder one, hot water, grinder two. So this is hot water. Okay, so there are two, two you can have two different coffees Correct. because there are two grinders in it. And then it has a hot water spout that basically makes hot water on demand any, any kind of flow time you want. Uh -huh. Okay, inside the machine we have, um, Two boilers, so again, this only makes coffee, no steam. We have a separate steam unit that makes the steam. Yeah. So this is only making coffee. So we have one boiler that's 2,000 2, watts, uh, two liters, that preheats the water. Mm -hmm. And then from there, the second boiler is two, the same exact boiler, uh -huh. but it's two liters, 2,000 kilowatts. Okay. And so that's massive, that's 4,000 kilowatts, or four, sorry, kilowatts. Or, yeah. But that's also, so you can do endless hot water mm -hmm. and be able to make endless uh, espresso shots, okay? Um, and then from there, we have a patent on our heated brew chamber. Mm -hmm. and so it's a 58 millimeter brew chamber that mimics a brew chamber that you would find in a porta filter. Yeah. You know? uh, a lot of other machines might have a smaller or, mm -hmm. you know. So the secret though is the brew chamber is at the same temperature as our coffee extraction. So you're not losing any temperature uh -huh. in the extraction process. And that's, that's all just... It's in the base of the Oh, that's in here. here. And then the coffee comes Correct. through here. Correct. And then the um, water that enters the coffee actually comes from the bottom up. So typically you have, we call it anti-gravity extraction. Typically water comes from the top, right. it saturates, we deal with gravity channeling going through. Uh -huh. We're coming from the water from the oh, bottom. Oh, so you're so, okay. And so it's coming up and it's going through the puck that way. And you obviously you can do the same pre-infusion, same best, uh -huh. everything is the same. But it's, it's just it's, this way. It's that way. We, saturation is much more, less channeling, you know? And uh -huh. it's all controlled, so uh -huh. obviously it's a precision, everything's precision. You know, mm -hmm. trying to use the best components possible. Everything made in America. Um, the grinders are, besides the grinders, they're Maconic uh, dating grinders that are the E65. Oh, the, so they're just E65s in? Correct. With that step, is, that with, is that's with, sick. With step motor adjustments. Dang. And then the um, piston itself has a load cell, so it's ground by uh -huh. weight. So it measures the oh. gram, grams in. So you have grams uh -huh. in, you have temperature stable, so you're able to pull almost replicable. That, that's what we're here today, is just to show that it, it, you can get the same, same flavor profiles. Oh, okay, so that's why you guys have the the 65 or you're, no, are, we like are, those grinders, those yeah, grinders yeah, yeah. are great. So, okay, yeah. but that's in here. Yeah, it's and in the same grinders. That. So we're using all the same tech, so we're not, we're not, we're not skipping on, you know, same thing that you're gonna uh -huh. find in a cafe. So yeah. realistically, this machine right here has two grinders and a hot water tower in it. That's sick. Yeah. <laughs> and then the, the separate steam, you can have two interfaces for the same steam unit. Mm -hmm. So. But like, just, I mean, if it, it's, it's a bit hard to see here because we're, we're on like a, Thing, but like just imagine you're in a cafe and it's just like or uh, one day maybe the home right <laughs> maybe it's a machine for home. but it's like <laughs> just look at look how small that is that is just that's so cool and uh now we're pulling a shot just push the button and uh everything happens and with this you can adjust all of the yeah pre-infusion right now it's no pre-infusion there's some, there's some pulses out but there we go so we have 19 grams in and that we found that extraction time is a little bit quicker with this from the bottom up extraction is that when you start pulling super long shots like you would on a traditional espresso machine, yeah. you start getting a little over extraction. So we're actually running around, I mean, at, at the shop, the acre head that has them, they're running about 17, 18 second shots and tasting Ooh, amazing. so it's like a, could be like a turbo or something. Yeah, you know, a cup. Yeah. This is not completely dialed in yet. Yeah, no worries. But it still tastes pretty damn good. Good. Jeez. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Wow. Yeah, pretty fun. That is really that is really cool. Yeah, so the piston, it's a brew group that's you know, that's the biggest part of commercial espresso mm -hmm. super automatic machines is the piston. It's the, the thing that basically does the takes in the coffee, grinds and oh, sorry, tamps and ejects. Yeah. And that, that piece will dictate coffee quality as well as serviceability yeah. and mm -hmm. your basically call outs, service call outs. So, mm -hmm. you know, kind of took all, all our years of knowledge of being a service tech and made us very super good, easy to service piston and also um, focused on quality. Yeah. So all metal and heated, you know, and that's yeah. the secret to the Yeah.
But I mean, yeah, he j he just rinsed it right there, and he's just pulling another shot. It's that <laughs> it's that easy. There we go. I mean, look at that, that looks good. <laughs> and what I just tasted, what I tasted earlier, it's like. Geez, Getting there, almost it's, out in. It's, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like, we'll do a little bit more playing. Yeah, we'll I mean, we'll that's, work. this This is like that, but yeah. in this, yeah. that's so, that's so, so cool. So the service things, everything's magnetic panels. Uh -huh. So on these we have screws. Yeah. Screws are dead, you know, it's all magnetic. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the panels, like we have the service, panels off. Wow. From the top. All this comes off too. You use a screwdriver normally, but it's all magnetic. So, there we go. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is really cool. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, come if you're in uh, Boston, sorry, uh, come, <laughs> come visit us and uh, we'd love to make you a coffee and see what you think. It's all about the taste. You know, you can, you can say anything in the world, but if it doesn't taste good, you know, so. Yeah, well. well booth number? Uh, 265. Booth 265. If you're here at Expo this week, check them out. This is seriously super cool. And uh, I'll the, take you through the whole system. Yeah, the you know? coffee's legit. Cool. Thank Sweet. You. Thanks so much. Hey, All right. See you guys around.